Okay, today we're going to look at two more primitive data types. Uh, they are decimal numbers, basically, uh, the float and the double. Uh, I've opened up a class here called float double. I'm going to do my work. Um, hopefully you have something open. Let me just compile this, clear the console. Okay, so let's start off with a float. Um, you know, unlike whole numbers, floating point numbers, they have a fractional part. Okay, and again, that's something that we express as a decimal. And the float is, um, I guess, the one that has the, the small, it can store smaller numbers. Okay, and we're, like the other, like the other data types, we're going to look at what the width of these um, of these variables are. Okay, so I'm going to declare my um, variable a float, and it'll call it my min float value. A-L-U-E, and using the wrapper class for float, it's called float itself. I'm going to go min, min value, which is right here. You can put that in, close that off. Okay, well, just like I do for the min, I'm going to do the same thing for the max. Again, this is how many uh, bits a float can store. So I have my max float value. I'm going to replace this with max value. And I'm going to print this out. So sys out, and I'm going to print this here. And same thing, just copy this here. Instead of min, it'll be max. So when we run this, we have the numbers are so big, they're actually written in exponential. Um, notation. So that's 1.4 um, times 10, okay, to the power of negative 45. So that's a, that's a very, very uh, small decimal number, okay. And similarly, over here with the upper end, we have 3.4, a bunch of dot numbers, times 10 to the power of 38, which is going to give you a pretty big number, okay. So doubles, they can hold, sorry, floats, they can hold, um, quite a bit of decimal places. Okay, the next one is known as a double and we're going to do the same thing and just like the name indicates a double holds double the amount of bits that a float does. So a float holds 32 bits, a double holds 64. So I'm going to just do a quick change here. Command F, you do the find and replace. So I'm going to change float with double Again, paying attention to the case. And then I'm going to change the capital flow uh, with a capital double. And I think that's in the variable declaration. OK, looks like everything is looking good. No error values or comments yet. And if I run this, you see that a double, in terms of its width, is even bigger. OK, so. I have 4.9 times 10 to the power of negative 324. And on the other end, I have 1.7, I'm not going to bother reading those values, times 10 to the power of 308. So like I said, float are 32 bits, doubles are 64. Um, the double is considered to be the default data type when working with floating point numbers. And here's what I mean by that. If I, um, let me just declare a float, call it uh, my float f l o eight value. And I'm going to set it to 5.25. Now when you look at that, um, you'll notice that there's an error message right off the bat. Okay, over here I have this um, broken red line. Off to the side I have this x. And if I hover over it, it says, I'm not sure if you can read it, but it says cannot convert from a double to a float. In other words, when I write a decimal number in Java, okay, it'll automatically interpret it as a double. Okay, if I want it to be a float, I have to indicate that. And there's a few ways that we can do that. Okay, so I'm going to cast it as we you know, learned in a previous uh, video, I have to cast it into a float. So 
what are some ways around this? Here's what I can do. I'm just going to copy this again. Number one is I can actually write in front of it float, okay, in um, in parentheses, and now the error under the 5.25 goes away. I still have this one over here because um, you know I've duplicated my variable name, so I'll just do maybe number one, and it goes away. Okay, so there's one way casting it uh, very. Um, casting the variable in a very explicit way. That's what I'm looking for. Another way is same thing and I'll call this my float value number two. Again these are all really casting methods just different formats. I can put a capital F at the end and that automatically casts it into a float value. Lastly and it's very similar to the second one is just a matter of case I can have that there, but instead of the uppercase F, I can put a lowercase F. It means the exact same thing. Okay? So all of these are three ways. Usually the last one is this is the most common of expressing a decimal, making sure that it is a float value. Okay, and I'm going to put this as three. And there you have, let me zoom out, some numbers. Obviously, if I run this, I'm going to get an error. Type mismatch, cannot convert from a double to a float. It's referring to this error on line 16. I'm just going to comment that out. Okay, that's a way of muting your code when you want to see what happens. And after that, everything runs beautifully. Mm -hmm.